DBT on Databricks SQL allows teams to collaboratively transform data in the lake house, helping them ship more trusted data products faster. Databricks and DBT Labs have partnered to make it easier than ever to get started with DBT Cloud and Databricks through Databricks Partner Connect. You can now discover and connect to DBT Cloud in just a few clicks. Clicking into DBT and Partner Connect starts a simple, automated workflow. Databricks automatically provisions a SQL endpoint and associated credentials for DBT Cloud to interact with, with best practices baked into the configuration of the endpoint. You can also edit and reconfigure the endpoint however you'd like. Databricks then passes your information and the SQL endpoint configuration to DBT Cloud automatically via a secure API. You're then taken to DBT Cloud's website to either sign up for a new trial or to log in to an existing account. If you are a new user, DBT Cloud automatically sets up a trial account. Once you log in to DBT Cloud, you're ready to use DBT's industry standard transformation framework to transform data in your lake house. DBT Cloud is fully hosted and managed, allowing you to get started quickly without needing to manage infrastructure. To get started, just click on the hamburger menu on the left and click Develop. This will take you to the IDE, where you'll be able to write SQL code that will be executed in your Databricks lake house, view lineage, and much more. To get started, you'll need to click Initialize your project on the left-hand side. This will populate a simple file tree in the left-hand pane. These are where you're going to write your DBT code. Your DBT models are in a folder called Models, where you can also see some example code to get a sense of how DBT is working. To run your code, just enter DBT Run into the bar at the bottom of your screen and click Enter. This will build the models in your Models folder into Databricks. Each DBT Run will also generate logs that can help you understand the outcomes of your run. DBT simply pushes the underlying SQL down to Databricks to execute. You can now explore the data in your Databricks SQL instance and see the tables that DBT has just built. You can also explore your Databricks query history to see the actual queries that DBT has run against your data.